Hello once again, this is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. You may have been uh, seeing the ads for acai berries or acai juice health supplements on YouTube and other websites. So I did a bit of research for you. And I've decided to do a video on acai berries and whether or not they are everything they're cracked up to be. Now this has been hailed as the natural way or a natural way to lose weight slow the effects of aging and to fight cancer but despite what you may have heard about it the acai berry isn't everything it's cracked up to be and like many other so-called superfoods or super fruits you can in fact live a perfectly healthy life without ever eating an acai berry or drinking the juice now acai palms uh, consist of several types of palm trees native to Central and South America the name of the plant comes from the Tupian word uh, iwasai which means uh, fruit that cries or expels water the plants grow quickly, which is a good thing since global demand has increased in recent years and acai are now grown mostly for their fruit and their hearts of palm. In a study of three traditional caboclo uh, populations in the Amazon region of Brazil, these people are mixed American Indian and European, uh, the acai palm was described as the most important plant species because the fruit makes up a major component of their daily diet, which is about uh, up to 42% of the total food intake by weight and is an economically valuable crop in the region. In Brazil, as a whole, acai is consumed in many varieties and in various meals of the day, including an ice cream and as a flavored liqueur. Um, but you want to know if acai is something that you should put in your diet. Is it the most nutritious, most uh, vitamin-packed uh, fruit out there? Uh, actually, no. That honor goes to the cockadoo billy goat plum, uh, from Australia, which actually has the highest level of vitamin C of any fruit in the world. So if they tell you that the acai has more vitamin C than any other fruit, they don't know what they're talking about. Now 80% of the volume of each berry consists of the pit, and the berry itself has such a high fat content that it's usually available outside the harvest area only in uh, juice form or in products like yogurt. Uh, acai is exported as a thick pulp and is sold in a capsule, powder, or juice form at health food stores and via the internet, but acai was virtually unknown outside the United States until the year 2001. Two brothers, Ryan and Jeremy Black, began to sell acai through Sambazon Incorporated, promoting its antioxidant properties. Uh, today, uh, beverage giants including Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Anheuser-Busch are adding the fruit to their beverage uh, lineups. Uh, it's also found in products from Stonyfield Farms and haagen -Dazs. Procter & Gamble recently infused acai into their herbal essence shampoos and conditioners. So it's a moneymaker. Sales of acai products jumped to $13.5 million in 2007, up from $435,000 uh, just two years before that. This is according to uh, natural food tracker Spins Incorporated. As far as the medical claims of the evangelists of the acai berry religion, they make numerous claims about how great it is, often without any supporting evidence, so it's kind of hard to keep up with them. For one thing, they say that acai products are helpful for weight loss. However, the U.S. Food and Drug, I'm sorry, the Federal Drug Administration has uh, not evaluated acai for its efficiency in losing weight. Despite acai products being linked to popular TV talk show host Oprah Winfrey, in the later part of 2008, uh, ABC News reported that Oprah's lawyers began investigating potential claims against acai supplement manufacturers who suggested that frequent Oprah Winfrey guest uh, Dr. Mehmet Oz had recommended their product or acai berry products in general for their use in losing weight. Actually, what Dr. Oz had said was that acai looked like a product that had health benefits, and that was all he said. Dermatologist Dr. Nicholas uh, Paracone, another frequent guest of Oprah's, also mentioned acai along with other foods as being uh, full of nutrients, but doctors Oz and Paracone never said anything about uh, acai's uh, supposed weight loss qualities. Now, like many other supposed superfruits, marketers do tend to ignore science and the real world in order to boost sales. In this case, it seems that they had realized that people might be more likely to buy their product if Oprah had appeared to endorse it, which makes sense. After all, if Oprah recommends a book, you know, sales of that particular book go up exponentially. Uh, but add to that the perceived endorsement of a cardiothoracic surgeon like Dr. Oz, that couldn't hurt at all, even if it was a total lie. 
In a comparative study, link below, of acai against 10 other fruit juices uh, derived from the natural pulp, the ratings of their antioxidant capacity went like this, uh, from best to uh, lowest. The uh, acerola berry, number two was mango, followed by strawberries, then grapes, then acai, then guava, mulberry, graviola, passion fruit, another fruit, uh, kupawaku, don't know, and pineapple was number 11. So you're better off drinking commonly available grape juice instead of acai juice. Uh, if you can find them, you can also get your hands on some mangoes or strawberries. The acerola, by the way, is another plant that grows in Central America, including Puerto Rico, and has been found growing in Hawaii, probably introduced there by uh, Puerto Rican immigrants during the plantation days. Acerola and mango might not be readily found in most U.S. grocery stores, but strawberries and grapes can be found in various forms on supermarket shelves. In yet another study, link below, sponsored by Palm Wonderful, which, by the way, markets pomegranate juice, which is why they have that name, three commercially available juice brands containing unspecified percentages of acai juice were tested against other types of juices and drinks with their in vitro antioxidant capacity. Like the other study, acai didn't do as well as other more commonly available drinks. The ratings uh, were highest for pomegranate juice, which is good news for Palm Wonderful, followed by Concord grape juice, blueberry juice, and red wine. Uh, acai juice ranked roughly equal to black cherry and cranberry juice, and uh, all these above uh, more commonly available juices such as orange juice, apple juice, and tea. Now I'm not saying that um, acai doesn't have nutritional properties. The dark variety has higher ratings, for example, than the white. I'm going to include some uh, more information in the description box below because this includes a lot of technical wording. So anyway, in very simple language, Dr. David Katz, Associated Clinical Professor of Public Health and Medicine at Yale University, says that the hype surrounding acai often gets in the way of the real science and that we do just as well just eating more fruits and vegetables and while there is some merit to the rich antioxidant content of exotic fruits such as acai, consumers can get the same punch in dark chocolate and an array of other fruits, in, uh, including oranges, tomatoes, and uh, blueberries. And yes, acai can, in fact, do your body some good. However, the simple fact is that there are plenty of other more readily available foods on grocery, sell, uh, grocery shelves all across the United States that are just as good for you, if not better. But the acai peddlers are counting on a number of things to market their product, uh, despite the scientific evidence uh, to the contrary that they've made. Uh, for one thing, they know a lot of people are desperate to lose weight. And the weight loss industry is a multi-million dollar industry in the United States because we're getting fat as a country. And people want to lose weight, but they don't want to do an awful lot of exercise sometimes. So offering something that you can simply eat you know, will attract a lot of buyers. People buy acai from stores who don't even market it as a, as a weight loss product, but they buy it for the purpose of losing weight. Uh, second, they also know, the marketers know, that people don't like growing old and will spend big dollars to slow the effects of advancing years on their bodies. This is a simple but understandable vanity, and it plays into the hands of the uh, marketers of acai juice. Third, everyone has a fear of cancer, and hyping acai as an anti-cancer supplement plays into in, right into the, the people's deepest fears. Uh, my mother, in fact, died of cancer some years ago, as did my grandmother, so being afraid of getting cancer myself is something I can understand. So while acai does have some nutritional value, it isn't an outstanding wonder food as it is marketed. You can live just as well by eating more of the commonly available foods I've already mentioned. Uh, ultimately, the marketers of these acai berry products are using fear and vanity to sell their product, and it is a product that we really don't need. Anyone who relies on fear and vanity to sell you something is someone who should not be trusted and you shouldn't give them your money. This is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching.